Okay, so in this video we're going to take a look at uh, creating a confidence interval for a mean. Uh, in this video we're going to look at uh, making a 95% confidence interval, uh, which is the most common confidence interval that we make. Uh, we can also make 99% uh, confidence intervals and 90% confidence intervals. They're also uh, fairly common. Uh, so some things that you need to know in order to do this. Uh, X bar, that's the sample mean, so that's the mean of the sample that you have. Uh, sigma, that's the population standard deviation, so uh, you're usually given that as well. N is the sample size, uh, so how many uh, of whatever, whatever it is that you have. E then is the margin of error, and we use E95 for this, so E95 gives us the 95% confidence level and uh, E95 is equal to 1.96 times sigma over root n. Now this 1.96 equates to the 95% uh, for 99% there'll be a different number, for 90% there'll be a different number and I'll show you in a different video how you actually get that number there if it's not given to you. So the formula that we use, uh, our confidence interval is uh, x bar minus e which is less than or equal to mu, that's the the population mean and less than or equal to uh, x bar plus e. So e being 1.96 times sigma over root n, it's x bar minus 1.96 sigma over root n, less than or equal to mu, less than or equal to x bar plus 1.96 sigma over root n. Okay, so let's take a look at an example that I have here. So uh, construct a 95% confidence interval for the mean weight of fish in the area. And we're given uh, this information here. We have a 400 sa uh, fish sample, so a sample of 400 fish. Uh, they have a mean weight of 856 grams with a standard deviation of 150 grams. So we are asked to find the... 95% uh, confidence interval for the mean weight of all the fish in the area given this sample of 400 fish. So uh, what we have here, well we have x bar that's equal to uh, 856 so that's the mean weight. We have sigma the standard deviation that's 150 and then we have n which is our sample that's 400. So that's all we need in order to make our confidence interval. So filling in from here, x bar is 856 uh, minus 1.96 times sigma, which is 150, over root n, which is 400. So that's all you need there on one side. Now the other side, I might just draw this in, uh, write this in a separate color. So that's less than or equal to mu and less than or equal to. Now the opposite side of this is the exact same except we don't have a minus, we have a plus. So 856, 856 plus 1.96 times 150 over square root of 400. Okay, so we'll go to our calculator. I'll show you how to do it on the calculator. So we have 856 minus 1.96 times, now I'm going to make my fraction 150 over the square root of 400 and close the brackets after, press equals and we get 841.3. So 841.3 less than or equal to mu less than or equal to now to get the opposite side, I don't need to go typing it all in again, I can just scroll through using my arrows here, I can delete my minus and put in a plus, and then press equals and change it to a decimal, we get 870.7. So what does that mean? That means we are 95% confident that the mean weight of fish in this area lies between 841.3 grams and 870.7 grams. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.